Yuji Itadori is a high school student with incredible athleticism and sports talent. Yuji's grandfather tells him to use his strength to help others just before his death. Megumi Fushiguro, a student from Tokyo Metropolitan Magic Technical College, is tasked with searching for a cursed object, a finger of Rayoman Sukuna, a powerful supernatural monster known as a curse. Megumi tracks Yuji down, having sensed the finger's energy from him. As curses attack them and Yuji's friends, Megumi fights back and Yuji, recalling his grandfather's last words, joins him. As Megumi is overwhelmed, Yuji eats the finger in an attempt to save Megumi and his friends. This causes him to be possessed by the murderous Sukuna. Yuji easily suppresses Sukuna, but Megumi declares that he has become a curse and prepares to exorcise him. Megumi's powerful teacher, Satoru Gojo, arrives. Declaring himself the strongest sorcerer, he easily beats Sukuna and Yuji reassumes control. Satoru knocks him out, but Megumi asks him to spare Yuji. Satoru explains to Yuji that the Jujutsu elders want him executed, but he was able to suspend his death sentence. Sukuna had 20 fingers, but they have only found six. Now that they can see that Yuji can suppress Sukuna, they plan to have him eat the six fingers and find the remaining ones, which would allow for Sukuna to be killed along with Yuji. Yuji agrees, wanting to save others, and eats another of Sukuna's fingers. Satoru brings Yuji to Tokyo Metropolitan Magic Technical College, intending to train him to wield his power alongside his other students. Yuji, Megumi, and Satoru pick up the third first-year student Nobera Kujisaki. Satoru brings them to an abandoned building that is occupied by curses as a field test for Nobara. Nobara discovers a curse holding a little boy hostage and surrenders in an attempt to save him. Yuji rescues her and she finishes off the curse. A flashback reveals that Nobara had an older friend named Saori who moved to the country but was ostracized by the locals because she was from the city and driven away. This convinced Nobara to move away from her town to Tokyo. A month later, the three student sorcerers are dispatched to exercise a cursed wom at a detention center, leaving one of them dead. Yuji, Megumi, and Nobara investigate a wom. Kiyotaka Aijiki, the assistant director at Jujutsu High, puts up a veil over the building to conceal them from the ordinary citizens. The trio sees that the prison has changed into an infinite, chaotic wasteland and that the inmates have been brutally murdered. Yuji's hand is torn off by the cursed spirit, so he decides to unleash Sukuna once Megumi rescues Nobara. Once the two escape, Sukuna takes over and regenerates Yuji's limbs before easily defeating the special grade, eating one of Sukuna's fingers that was powering it. Sukuna holds Yuji hostage by ripping his heart out so that if they switch back, Yuji would die. Megumi fights Sukuna, but is overpowered, Sukuna is intrigued by Megumi's hidden potential. Megumi says that his will to save others came after seeing his sister fall into a coma from a cursed spirit. Yuji emerges but dies from blood loss. While in mourning, Megumi and Nobara meet second years Maki Zenin, Tog Inumaki, and Panda, an anthropomorphic panda, who inform them that they will be participating in the Kyoto Sister School Exchange event. Meanwhile, cursed spirits Dagen, Jogo, and Hanami meet with Gito, a human, plotting to trap Satoru and get Yuji on their side. While his body is examined by Dr. Shoko Ayuri, Yuji wakes up in Sukuna's domain. Megumi and Nobara train with the second-year trio to get ready for the tournament, which is set to take place in a month. In exchange for his heart back, Sukuna tricks Yuji into making a deal with him that will let Sukuna take over at any time. The pact is erased from Yuji's memory as part of the deal. Yuji awakens and Satoru tells Eri to hold off on reporting Yuji's resuscitation. He begins training Yuji to manage his cursed energy. Gido tells Jogo to use a special grade cursed object called Prison Realm to subdue Satoru as he is too strong to be killed, but Jogo promises to kill him. Jogo ambushes Satoru while he is on his way to meet the Jujutsu Tech Principal. After Jogo's failed attempts to kill Satoru, Satoru explains his ability. He can manipulate speed and the cursed energy around him into an infinity that slows down any attacks before they hit him. Therefore, his attackers cannot touch him at all. Satoru transports to Jujutsu Tech, picks up Yuji, and warps back in seconds to teach Yuji about domain expansions. Jogo's domain expansion is destroyed when Satoru launches his own infinite void, as his is more powerful. He traps Jogo in infinity and decapitates him. Before they can find out who Jogo is working for, Hanami escapes with Jogo's head. Gido, Jogo, and Hanami go to a void where the cursed spirits are hiding out, among them the newly born Mahito. They plan on sealing away Satoru in a prison realm and releasing Sukuna. Nobara and Megumi meet the Kyoto Jujutsu Tech students they will be competing against in the exchange event, second year Mei Zinin, who is Maki's twin sister, and third year Aoi Toto. Toto challenges Megumi to a fight and batters him, almost bringing him to his snapping point. 
but Panda and Togue stop Toto. Maki reveals to Nobera that she cannot use cursed energy and has to rely on cursed weapons to fight. Satoru accuses Kyoto's principal Yoshinobu Gakuganji of purposefully sending the first years to their deaths against the Curse One. He tells Yoshinobu about Jogo, Sukuna, and the talent of current students like Yuda Akatsu and Yuji, warning that a revolution is coming. A month later, Mihito kills three high school students at a movie theater. He is confronted by a teenage boy who can see him. Yoshino Junpi skips school to go to the movies and witnesses, the classmates who bullied him getting their faces transfigured and dying. He chases after the culprit, Mihito, and asks to be taught how to control cursed energy. Mahito teaches Junpei his saddest beliefs about human existence, as he himself is a curse born from human hate. Yuji and ex salaryman Jujutsu sorcerer Nanami Kento investigate and encounter two cursed spirits. During the fight, Yuji reveals his cursed technique, using cursed energy to amplify the power of his punches and superhuman strength. Nanami deduces that the curses they're fighting are actually transfigured humans, Nanami sends Ajichi and Yuji to investigate Junpei while he goes to Mahito. Mahito teaches his ideology to Junpei. As a cursed spirit capable of changing the very shape of a person's soul, he sees people as disposable. Junpei, happy at being told he can kill without feeling guilty about it, has a confrontation with his teacher, who had turned a blind eye to Junpei's bullies. He is about to kill his teacher when Yuji interrupts. Nanami confronts Mahito in the sewers. During their battle, Nanami realizes that the transfigured humans Mahito makes are actually still alive, self-aware, and in suffering. Nanami's work hours hit overtime, and he begins to use his full power to fight, surprising Mahito. Nanami easily emerges victorious against Mahito this time. Mahito survives because he was able to manipulate his own soul and change his form. Yuji bonds with Junpei over a shared love of movies. Over dinner with Junpei's mother, Yuji tells Junpei that he doesn't want to kill because he feels it would make him value human lives and relationships less. Junpei's mother is killed overnight when one of Sukuna's fingers, planted by Gito, attracts cursed spirits. Mahito convinces Junpei that one of his school bullies Shota Ito did this, planning to lure in Yuji so they can get Sukuna on their side. Yuji arrives at Junpei's school just before Junpei can kill Ito. Feeling that humans don't have hearts due to all he has been through, Junpei fights Yuji using his cursed energy technique, a shikigami that poisons whoever it touches. Yuji tries to convince Junpei to come to Jujutsu High with him, telling him there are strong teachers there who can help. Mahito arrives and Junpei realizes he was being manipulated by him. Mahito turns Junpei into a disfigured monster. Yuji pleads for Sukuna's help but Sukuna only laughs. Junpei dies and Yuji. Realizing he truly cannot save everyone, breaks furiously attacking Mahito. His punches reach Mahito's body and soul, causing the cursed spirit to bleed. Mahito tries to transfigure Yuji's body, but is overpowered by Sukuna, who threatens to kill him. Nanami and Yuji catch Mahito's weak points and batter him. Mahito, at the brink of defeat, releases his domain expansion and traps Nanami inside. Believing that he is about to die, Nanami reflects on what led him to rejoin Jujutsu Tech as a sorcerer. He'd been working a meaningless corporate job, which left him feeling that he had no reason to live. One day he helped a bakery cashier by exercising the curse that clung to her. Seeing her gratitude inspired him to help others for a living. Yuji breaks through the domain, as it is weaker on the outside than the inside. As a result, Mahito Mahito accidentally touches Sukuna's soul a second time, who punishes him by leaving him grievously injured. Mahito escapes. A distressed Yuji tells Nanami that he had to kill a person today, and promises never to lose again. Gido schemes his next move with Jogo, who has regained his body and Mahito. Gido declares that they will continue trying to find all of Sukuna's fingers to fully release him, starting by ambushing Tokyo Jujutsu Tech. The Kyoto class arrives for the exchange event and Yuji reveals his survival after two months. Due to his friend's shock, the event will consist of two rounds, the first being a competition between the two schools. The Kyoto students, on orders of Principal Gakuganji, plot to kill Yuji, but make it seem like an accident, due to him being Sukuna's vessel. Satoru reveals to the Kyoto student's teacher, Yudahime Yori, that he suspects a traitor is in Tokyo Jujutsu Tech's midst. The Kyoto students begin their ambush on Yuji, but flashbacks reveal that the Tokyo students already suspected the Kyoto team would focus on trying to kill him. They work to split up the Kyoto students to even the odds. Yuji finds himself fistfighting his surprisingly happy Toto, one of the Kyoto students who is against killing him and wishes instead to be friends. Megumi is attacked by Noritoshi, while Kasumi prepares to face off against Maki. Yuji receives lessons from Toto about using cursed energy while the two fight each other. Nobera is knocked out by a non-lethal sniper shot from Mechamaru. Panda begins fighting him, 
and his past and technique is revealed. Panda actually contains three personalities within him that he can switch between when one is weakened by attacks. Mechamura reveals he is a young sorcerer controlling the robot from within. His true body is extremely ill and unable to function. In exchange, however, he is able to use cursed energy through mechanical puppets. Panda's gorilla personality emerges victorious in their battle. Asumi is beaten by Maki after underestimating her lack of cursed energy. Nobara fights Momo, but just as she is about to win, she is knocked out by a round from Mei's revolver. Maki faces off with her sister, as flashbacks reveal the suffering that the twins went through in the Zenin clan. Maki left the clan with a goal to become a strong sorcerer and rule the clan one day. Mei stayed and was forced to become a sorcerer against her will in Maki's place, resenting her sister for leaving her. As Mai tries to use her technique, creating a bullet out of cursed energy, Maki catches it with her bare hand, revealing that as a trade-off for having no cursed energy. She has been blessed with superhuman strength, explaining her talent. Having lost their battles, Mei and Nobara are eliminated from the event. Asumi is eliminated after Toge calls her and commands her to sleep over the phone. Toge is disturbed by an ominous special great cursed spirit, whose appearance immediately ends the exchange event. Megumi and Noritoshi are battling when they see Toge fleeing. He commands them to run, but the special great blocks them from the exit. The cursed energy users behind the invasion of the special great place a large barrier over the area. The barrier only blocks Satoru from the students. Everyone else can enter and leave. Toge, Megumi, and Noritoshi find themselves facing the special grade. Hanami, the special grade cursed spirit, shrugs off attacks from Toge, Megumi, Noritoshi, and Maki. Just as she is about to strangle Maki to death, Yuji and Aoi jump in to fight Hanami, while Panda and Momo escort their wounded friends to safety. Yuji then reveals the Black Flash technique he learned from Aoi as Hanami unleashes her second arm to fight them both. Aoi reveals his own secret technique, Boogie Woogie, the ability to swap any two people or objects with cursed energy and uses it in tandem with Yuji's Black Flash to beat up Hanami. Hanami prepares to unleash her own domain expansion when Satoru dispels the veil over the battlefield. After shredding the limbs of Juzo, one of the attackers, Satoru unleashes a giant purple wave of cursed energy at a retreating Hanami, destroying half the forest and leading Itadori and Toto amazed at his power. Elsewhere, Mahito has one of Sukuna's fingers, the school invasion was a distraction so they could steal it. Hanami manages to barely survive Satoru's attack, Mahito reveals the attack was a ruse to draw Satoru's attention away from the Tokyo High School, where Mahito killed multiple sorcerers and stole six fingers and three special grade curse wombs. Gido once again alludes to his Shibuya plan on October 31, warning the curses that they must focus on sealing Satoru away and leave Sukuna alone and the students too, as Sukuna has interest in one of them, Megumi, and may explode if something happens to Megumi. Satoru continues the exchange event. Instead of individual battles, he has them compete in a baseball game, allowing the students some downtime. Megumi, Nobara, and Yuji are sent out to investigate mysterious deaths connected to Megumi's middle school alma mater, Saitama Irani East Junior High. They discover the deaths were caused by a curse, and that Megumi's stepsister, still in a coma, may become a victim of it as well if the three don't exercise the curse. Mahito and Jido continue their schemes, incarnating one of the cursed Wam, Death Paintings. Two new curses appear and draw Yuji and Nobara away from the battlefield, leaving Megumi to face off against a special great curse. He finds himself at his power limit, before recalling words of advice from Gojo Sensei, which encourages him to unleash his domain expansion, Chimera Shadow Garden. After defeating the curse, Megumi obtains Sukuna's finger and reflects on his life with his sister. Then Yuji, chasing his opponent, runs into Nobara and her opponent. Yuji and Nobara are infected by the cursed one brother's decay technique that will rot their bodies away in minutes. Nobara uses her own technique to turn the tables on the brothers and kills them both with Yuji. After the battle, they reflect on having killed actual humans instead of cursed spirits. They find Megumi asleep with Sukuna's finger. When he awakes, he warns Yuji not to eat the finger, but Sukuna eats it before either of them can react. Two days later, Satoru talks to Yudaheim about the traitor in the school and sends a large payment to another sorcerer, 